Welcome back to Plus TV Africa. Time for us to take you back to what happened today in history. Now, uh, in 2015, talking about October the 29th, China ends one-child policy. Now, one-child policy is that policy that I have, you know, over time, we think that maybe at some point we need to adopt looking at, you know, the state at which uh, we are actually going with uh, population growth. So, um, today, we actually had a time where... Um, that policy was actually ended by China. China had scrapped its one-child policy, allowing couples to have two children for the first time since that draconian family planning rules were introduced uh, sometime, I mean, it was about three decades ago. And the announcement followed a four-day Communist Party uh, summit somewhere in China where top leaders debated financial reforms and how to maintain growth at a time of heightened concerns about the economy. So yes, China actually adopted this policy at the time, you know, to control the population explosion, if you like to say. Uh, uh, you also also have the fact that the change of the policy, as I had rightly mentioned, is intended to balance population development and address the challenges of an aging population. Now, some celebrated the moves as a positive step towards a greater personal freedom in China, and uh, others did not. So, because of nearly 30 or you know, 36 years uh, that he existed because he started from 1979 to about 2015. About half of the parents in China faced uh, instead a two child limit. So if you're getting married for the first time as, you know, a couple, or if you're a couple or you have a family, uh, then it's expected that you would only have just a child. But after, on this particular day, uh, that particular law was scrapped. It allowed people to have at least, uh, you know, two uh, children. Okay, now China also provided a nominal uh, reward to families with one child, uh, which is actually a very good one. And the one child policy had been challenged for violating human rights to determine the size of one's own proper family. I don't know, I totally understand that um, even if we get to adopt this policy, I'm thinking that a lot of persons will not want us there because we live in a society where we constantly say, oh, children are gifts from God and yes, children are gifts from God. But I'm thinking that we need to begin to also pay attention, especially at this point in time. I look at families who have like five kids and I constantly ask myself, how are they faring? How do they keep up with the bills? Uh, how do you get to pay school fees? How do you get to, you know, pay rent and just survive all through? Uh, without having government, you know, instituting this policy as a means of control, I'm thinking that as individuals, it's important that we pay attention. You know, we should be logical about, you know, raising kids and having children. So you have lean resources. It's okay to say, well, let's just uh, have one or two. So we're able to cater for them and take care of their needs properly. Well, this is what happened some time ago uh, today in history. China, on this particular day, scrapped that one-child policy and then allowed the people to have at least two after a very long time. That's the much uh, we can actually take at this point in time. Uh, we're going to step on the brakes now. When we return, we will be uh, talking about the Anambra elections uh, that is slated for the 6th of November. And, of course, our guests will be joining us on the discourse uh, Okonabo uh, Nkutaria, who is a public affairs analyst. Please stick around.